Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never wanna leave my home. Stay in the sheets, sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Land calm, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Yo, yo, fuck, welcome back y'all, welcome back y'all, to another lovely episode of Lord of Perfected Work, it's your host, Lord Shoe X, I'm a polymath based out of Georgia, if you haven't been to my website, Shoelovesrebels.com. You should check it out. Uh, some things will be changing here shortly on the page. But rest assured, it won't be anything that will affect the user experience. It will actually make it better. That being said, you can hit me up on Instagram. Or Facebook as Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. Uh, got some surprises for y'all coming soon too, guys and gals. Uh, just be on the lookout. You know, just visit the website, shoelovesrebels.com. And just know that I'm always trying to make the experience between you and I better. Every single day. Now, let's get into it. So this stream is called, This Is Why I Stopped Speaking Before Twitch. Um, honestly, y'all, uh, this, this stream is probably not gonna be super long today. I mean, we just, we're just gonna go with it. You know, we're just gonna go along with it, all right? So, uh, today, I just realized a lot of things about, you know, how funny this world be sometimes. And I've probably mentioned before on the channel that before I was given the idea to come on a platform and to speak about the things that are going on within my mind and how I feel about certain things going on in the world, I usually just kept them to myself only because you know I wasn't insecure about my uh, my genius ideas because in fact I knew that they were genius ideas that I just didn't want to share them with people because you know sometimes people want things from you and you can't always expect certain things from people you know what I'm saying Having expectations of others can sometimes be a little, little detrimental to your, uh, 
to your ascension process. So, this is why I stopped speaking before Twitch, okay? I'll probably say about, what is it, 2021 and the Gregorian calendar. Okay, so in 2017 of the Gregorian calendar, I was pretty heavy in the streets of Atlantis. And I myself had personal missions that I wanted to carry out. And I'm gonna just keep this vague to an extent, you know, but I'll still tell the tale. So doing things to ensure my happiness as well as my well-being during those time periods. And finding out a lot of things, I had to let uh, uh, many things go. And at one point I was roaming Atlantis pretty late in the night hours and uh, just talking to all different kinds of people, many different types of people that were comfortable with me, that acted like themselves, but, or acted like themselves around me, let's put it that way, because something about me just lets people open up. So I had got in real cool with some, uh, we'll just say some people that I shouldn't probably be around considering who I am to many people a lot of people value what I have to say and they value what I do for my community. So for a long time, let me fix this. For a long time, I uh, I basically was fucking with these different types of people. Uh, Cause you know, I don't really judge anybody. You know, people do what they have to do to survive in this world. And because of perspective, people are forced to do certain things that they feel that they have to do because to them, the world is a certain type of way because of what they've seen. So they just equate that their lives also follow in that same vein. So how I am, I like to live all of the panels of existence. I pretty much have put myself into certain roles and positions on purpose so that I have that experience because I grew up in a safe environment but somebody I know may not have grown up in that safe environment. So I force myself to live in those experiences so that I have that experience for myself. Now, for the longest time I was doing this, experiencing these different phases of life through the eyes of other people's physically, through my own body. And eventually it got to a point where I started becoming these individuals so well and so It was so realistic that I basically took on these traits to utilize them within my own specific journey. And uh, taking all these different energies helped me to discover my actual path and what I'm supposed to actually do with, with all these uh, different energy signatures that I've taken on. And because I've dealt with uh, women and been in relationships with women, I've also taken on the uh, traits of the people that they have fucked with from their past. And it transfers to me. So knowing this, uh, knowing, you know, just being in the knowing of that information and that DNA and those codes within myself and uh, connecting with that information, I began to uh, create a new path, pave out my, you know, carve out my own uh, trail to follow you know, to uh, basically do the things that everybody might be afraid to do or take a risk towards doing. And I started to take my own risk. Throughout those times, I learned a lot of shit about how the world works, how manifestation works, how love works. I learned a lot of things just in a short amount of time. I'd probably uh, say like three years. 2017, probably was like the turning point for real. And as my life started to change for the better, 
taking these energies and utilizing them, I started to um I started to realize that certain shit was happening to me for a reason as well because of my mindset and because of how I was moving during those time periods, shit is shit started to happen. And as I'm moving through these different uh areas and taking on these new energies, I started to realize that wow, you know, I can do this. I don't have to just do this with people that I know, but I can take on these energies at any time. Just like how I was uh, expressing um, on Monday, on my last stream, how the cells, each cell is a version of you, but it's also separate versions of you experiencing other versions of you. So taking on these energies, I started to realize that on a kind of mundane human type level and being able to knowingly express that in a in a physical way t to the world so that they can see what what I'm doing or w what we do innately and not even realize it. So going through all of this stuff, experiencing all of these things, I started to realize the power of words the power of what you say. And granted, even now, I had to get used to, I had to get used to having that type of information, but retaining it in a way that would be useful to me. Instead of just having the knowledge and then, oh, well, I know this. Knowing something is cool, but Sometimes it takes making it a lifestyle is where the real magic happens. And see, when I started to realize the things that I was speaking was taken away from that shit, by just mundanely talking, I started talking less. It wasn't up until recently that I started talking more. But during those time periods, if it wasn't about business and if it wasn't about trying to make things better amongst my business partners, I didn't really give a fuck about nothing else. Granted, when I did speak with my business partners, I started to do the same shit there and I started to forget that code. See, for the longest time, following my own path taught me a set of codes that I live by for the most part. There's new codes that I added that I still had to adapt to within my own lifestyle. And I started taking up oaths of silence so that I could build up, build that power up to utilize it for the reasons that I needed to use it for. I started to build that shit up. And I also realized that when you are used to living a certain type of way for a long time, you start to, you start to go down this path also where you start to Take the things that you said and then you start to live that lifestyle and it becomes like negative. It becomes something that's detrimental to others, especially when you speak because ego is attached with the ego and your throat chakra together are probably the greatest tool because you're able to say things that you don't believe or that you don't understand because your crown chakra might be taking in information before the rest of your chakras can pick up and understand what that energy means. Like it, it doesn't filter properly all the way through or it hasn't filtered all the way through yet. So to follow these codes in my life, shit, I started to, I started taking oaths of silence and I stopped talking, you know, when, when it seemed important, I would speak. And I would only speak to like one person. If, if, if I had something to say, I would only say these things to one person. So these energies have me realizing that I need to stop talking at certain times. And after a while, people that was looking for me to speak would end up 
I, I felt like I was uh, leaving them hanging because a lot of people always want my opinion on stuff. That's, you know, the people that I guess I know, sometimes people I don't know ask me for my opinion because I guess I look wise or something. Or I just look like I've experienced things that the average person hasn't experienced, I guess. I'm not sure. I can't really speak for, speak for these people. But I just know that whenever something that happens in the world that somebody would deem important, somebody will always come to me and be like, I want to I wanna know what you think about that, how you feel about it. And when that happens, that's when I, I had the biggest aha moment. One of the biggest aha moments of my life was I started realizing that when people came to me asking me about shit that was happening in the world, right? I would talk to them, right? And I'm speaking, right? But we are talking about that thing and we're making the energy of that thing bigger. And a lot of the times people used to come to me talking about uh, relevant uh, current events going on in the world. So y'all know, y'all know already what I'm talking about. Things pertaining to race and things pertaining to uh, LGBTQ plus community and things pertaining to uh, spirituality and new age and shit like that and religion or uh, science um, music, you know, shit like that. And it got to be to the point where I was like, this ain't my news. This isn't my news. This is not my news. My news is more important. You should ask me about my news because the news that I'm creating isn't the news that y'all are talking to me about. Y'all are talking to me about negative things. Nine times out of 10, if they were asking me something, it was some negative ass shit. Always, always fucking negative. Now, having all this negative energy already, plus I'm living these different different uh, energy signatures that I'm taking on from other people, the shit started creating a portal. Now, this is the easiest way to create a portal, y'all, within reality. And you can easily walk through it if you're not afraid. The first real portal I ever created was this way. I started to follow a uh, a narrative that was created by someone else. wasn't It wasn't my own narrative. This was someone else's narrative. And after a while, I just went. Al I went along with the shit. So, moving through this this uh, narrative. I'm pretty much just accepting it. And the first portal I ever created was through that acceptance of going with the flow, right? So I'm going with the flow. But not only am I uh, catering to this narrative, but now it's a reality. Because see, my thoughts cre had already created the reality that was going on around me. And it was some bullshit. It was fucked up. But at the same time, I was using that reality to create some of my favorite music. And granted, the music came out good and it got me money and it put money in my pocket that I could use towards my next projects. But at the same time, emotionally and amongst other things, dealing with my other dimensions, I was broken after that shit, man. And because of that very shit, taking on those different energies, I started to realize that I don't want to do that type of shit no more. I don't want to feed the narratives of what people are believing in in this world. I'm following my own news. I'm following my own path. Granted, it's people in the world that need me to speak on these things. And I understand that. But why even talk about it? You know what I'm saying? I even said uh, yesterday that I might start doing current events because of what people cater or people fuck with in the world the shit that they might be interested in, right? But then I got to thinking about this very fucking stream. Why? Why? Why why do we have to subscribe to the culture? When in fact, you come on here and I'm giving you the news. I'm giving you my news. I'm giving you the news that I feel will help you. I don't want to talk about current events in the world because current events in the world right now would you want to talk about that shit 
Real shit. Would you want to talk about it? Fuck no. What is there what is there good to talk about that the news is talking about? At that, because we know who runs the motherfucking news. So already I'm off of that shit. Already I would rather not talk about that shit when I know that I can tell you something that can help potentially save your life, get you some money, uh, make make good decisions, take uh take calculated risk. Shit that matters. Help you create your own world, create your own shit that you believe in. Taking the steps to do that on your own. I want to talk about my news on this channel. All the time. And every day, I'm going to channel the motherfucking real news right before I got to get on here. Every time. If, if I got to do it every time, fuck it. I'm going to do it every time. Whether, whether we on here talking about music, whether we on here talk. Now, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to talk about some music going on in the world. But I'm going to talk about artists who are on the same shit that I'm, I'm on. Trying to change and get rid of the culture. Trying to bring real love back into the world. Trying to get rid of all the shit by using the tools that we have. See, some people are quick to write others off because they're using traditional tools to change things on a new new age level. Y'all gotta y'all gotta always just just look through the the different shells that people put on. Look beyond the shell I was given and deep into my mind. Shallow thinkers perish today and let a martyr shine. Replace the time as the hemp reaction takes place. Fuck race, we all one people as I stare in stasis. Towards the steeple, light passes through the crucifix. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's people doing shit that you might think they on some other shit. But always remember, people put on cloaks every day. People change their name every day. People get their titties changed and filled up every day. This is a fucking game, okay, y'all? We we can play this however we want to play it. This is really why I stopped speaking. <laughs> but I, I'm going to bless the world with my presence because no longer I got to worry about holding my tongue or being afraid because you know what? If death is something to be feared then kill me because i have never been afraid of anything except one thing and that's love and i ain't afraid of that no more so what else is left i want to experience it i done been in some fucked up positions <laughs> can't be no more fucked up than that to be face to face with death to be face to face with people that you're afraid of in nightmares I've been there, but that's the thing. I go through them shits because some of y'all might never experience it. I went through it so that I can give y'all the game. So when you experience that shit, you know exactly what to do. When you face to face with the devil looking that motherfucker in the eye, it's nothing to be afraid of because this is only yourself and the things that you aren't willing to address within yourself. And always, always remember that when you face to face with your greatest fear, this is the thing that's going to liberate you. Always remember that. You want to liberate yourself today? Go face to face with the shit you most afraid of. For me, I face my fears so many times and force myself to do it throughout my life because I knew it was people that weren't able to do it. I want to be the living word, okay? I want to be the one to show y'all, hey, if this motherfucker can do it, I can do it too. Matter of fact, I want you to be like, if this motherfucker can do it, I can do it better. Straight up, I want to see you succeed. I want to see you go further than what you believe that you really can. But, but, there's always somebody who's going to be trying to do the same thing. Don't worry about that motherfucking ass. Don't worry about nobody but your damn self because... That's how you gonna change shit. This is why I stopped speaking. I didn't I didn't want to speak about shit until I knew for a fact that the things I was saying, I felt it on a personal level. See, I had to take on all these different energy signatures to understand that shit. Cause a lot of the time, 
when you learning shit throughout your life, you be so excited, you be ready to just do it. You just be ready to just get hop to it. But take a step back. Look at the full spectrum, the bigger picture. Granted, you might have got the color blue, but it's a whole rainbow. Step back. Now that you got the color blue and the whole rainbow, now you can use all them colors to paint your paint your canvas. It's many different colors to take on, to be to be in alignment with, so that you can paint the perfect picture of what you want your life to look like. All the time, I didn't see myself go down the path of just man. I'm just gonna only be yellow. <laughs> I'm just only gonna be orange. Fuck that. I'm not listening, bro. I'm only red right now. I done been there. I done, I'm. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you and say that I ain't never just been on no shit like that. Where I just been like, man, fuck, fuck that. I'm only black right now. I'm not trying to hear what you, what you orange niggas gotta say. I'm on this purple shit right now. Well, I, right now I'm on this, on this kind of tillish green sea foam. Foamy color, turquoise. I don't fucking know what this color is, but I'm fuck that. I'm on that shit right now. I ain't trying to hear no. I ain't trying to hear no. Uh, no periwinkle shit. I ain't trying to hear that shit. I've been there. I I know what living your truth is like. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, we have to do that because it makes our egos healthy to a certain extent. But there's a big, bigger ego beyond us that'll help us out as well. So don't don't worry about all the colors and separation devices. And you know what I'm saying? The grass don't be like, I'm grass. Don't fuck with me, water, because I'm grass gang. Man, if it went for water gang, wouldn't be no motherfucking grass gang. If it went for mud gang, wouldn't be no grass gang either. You know what I'm saying? Look at nature. How how nature overgrows um, amongst each other, upon each other, and and just spreads out all over each other. We we as people are doing the upkeep on nature. If it wasn't meant to grow, it wouldn't keep growing. Same thing with you. If you wasn't meant to keep growing, you do you stop growing at a certain point? You stop uh, gr growing to a certain height at a certain point. Things are always going to be as they are for us. So I stopped speaking for that main reason. What I'm creating might be personal to me, but I'm going to share it with everyone. I'm going to share it with you. Same thing with you. When you, Like I said, when you get excited and you find something, do you not want to share it with others? Unless you like a super villain like myself and you fucking just be like, <laughs> I'm not telling no motherfucking body. Well, at least not anymore. <laughs> now, I am more willing to speak with y'all because it's this, this is something that I'm living now. And I take it one day at a time and I stay present as I take it one day at a time. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to get to the point where I'm just so into my own path that I can't, I can't hear and take on what other people are saying. Cause I'm not going to lie and, and sit here and say that I don't do that my damn self. It's, it gets hard, but that's why I stopped speaking when I'm speaking. I am trying to say things that will add to that, that will make it better, okay? Now, how you can apply this to your life is the same way. Taking up vows of silence, not speaking for days at a time, seeing how long you can go without having to speak to nobody. Now, if you feel yourself getting depressed and shit over that, Stop, you know what I'm saying? You might be super social person and you ha might have to talk all the time. But you just have to build up that awareness of what you're saying. Being conscious of the shit that you're saying. Because that shit can get you fucked up quick. I was doing that shit to myself days ago. 
out of fear though i was facing my fears doing shadow work and i pretty much scared myself into believing some shit that it can be true and it can't be true but it, it's up to how i'm thinking that's what's gonna make it true so i don't want to do that to myself where um where shit just can take over my mind and start to break me down into a state that I'm not ever usually in. But it's only because I'm believing a certain thing that my mind is breaking down into this state. Like, y'all, if you can't, avoid doing that shit to yourself, man. You don't have to go through that shit. We all given a chance. The fact that y'all in here with me right now is the is the the hundredth chance that you give it every day to recreate your fucking reality? What can you do in twenty four hours, man? If you believe in time, what can you do in twenty four hours? Cause we're timeless beings, straight up. We're timeless people, and the fact that we have this timeless state that we could go into. By simply centering and being present, you start to realize this thing, and you start to you start to act from that thing, and when you start to act from that, you start to feel like I am. Not I am old, I am young, but just I am. I exist. As long as you stay in that mindset, that's the present moment. I am. I exist forever. I am. There's nothing after that shit. Forever, infinite. Okay? Now, one way that I, I tend to, uh, I tend to, uh, try and recenter myself, the best way for me is writing things down. I have so many notebooks, y'all, for every type of fucking thing. Okay? And what I do is, even if, I had a bad day or something and I'm journaling, I will write the complete opposite. So when I go back and reread these journals, which I do every year, cause every year I pretty much finish a journal. So I have a whole journal for the year. Right now, since I started writing in 2018, I have currently three journals, which I'm almost done with this third journal and I'll have to start my fourth one soon. Every year the year starts, I go back over these journals. Now, in the beginning, when I first started these journals, I wrote negative shit. But that's because I was in a negative place. My heart was fucking broken. I had lost everything that I worked super hard for. All I had was a dream, and I had just started my company, so it was pretty fresh. When I was writing in this notebook, I was letting, letting these feelings out at first. But as I start to build my code of, of laws and my ethics that I follow by, and I stopped subscribing to other people's news and started subscribing to my own news, I stopped speaking less when it mattered. Only time I really speak is amongst family. But when I'm out in the world, I don't go, I don't, I'm not lurk, looking for people to speak to. And I know y'all like, how does he keep talking if he don't speak? Well... This is something that I, I built up with somebody that I really care about and I'm really comfortable with. But I had to face that fear of whatever comes out, comes out. But I gotta be aware of what I'm thinking as I'm saying shit so that whenever I'm talking, as long as my mind is centered towards these laws and codes that I follow, doesn't matter what the fuck I'm saying. At this point, I control anything. I can say anything. And people gonna be like, why is he like this? Why he like this? Because in my mind, my mind is somewhere else. Now the shit that I'm saying, depending on what's happening during the moment, I'm gonna say that shit. Whether it be some wild shit, whether it be some insightful shit, whether it be some dumbass shit. It's coming out because I'm releasing. I need to release this energy. Speaking is not bad, y'all. Talking is not bad. Cause there's no bad and there's no good. There is only what you think and what you feel. You can say the nicest shit. You know how people say the nicest shit to you, right? But they be really jealous and envious. It's the same shit. You can do the same shit 
and say anything and it can be a good intention behind it. The energy can be pushed behind it of what you really mean. Because sometimes you have to say shit in order for it to be truly understood. When you, you might have to say shit with anger, but have a happy intent behind that shit to really get off what you're really trying to say. Because that's the reality we truly live in. Our reality is controlled by this, these two things. We live in a holographic universe anyways. These two things are what decides what happens. This thing tells you how to move, what actions to use. This right here tells you how to move. So don't worry about what people say, especially if you know the true intention because you intuitive. Everybody's intuitive, okay? Everybody has at some point, don't matter how much trash you eat, at some point you have, I don't, I don't feel so good about this, man. This don't feel right to me. This don't feel right to me. Somebody might call you a pussy, whatever. This don't feel right to me, man. I'm gonna just go. Everybody's not had that feeling. Even you might not have it as an adult, but you sure as hell had it as a child. Everybody has experienced that shit at least once. Uh, something's about to happen, man. I'm scared. When you going through that shit, that's that's telling you to move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. If your thoughts is positive and they fine, then you can actually take an action. And the shit that you that you feeling bad about will actually go in your favor. See, so many times I'm I'm thinking about that shit for y'all because it just makes me happy that people eventually will start to know this. Not learn it. Not feel it, but know it. And it'll be life. It'll be a lifestyle. And we'll all be able to move in that same shit. I remember one time I was reading about this African tribe. I don't remember the name of this tribe, but... Communities are important, y'all. I just want to say that before I get into this. Which is why I'm on Twitch. Because I want to create a community where... Y'all come into here, and you, and this is a place of healing, okay? My personal life might be fucking crazy, but when I come in here, all that shit stay. I don't bring that shit in here. This is church up in here for me. I leave all the bullshit out there. I only bring what, what the streets and experience and music and what I've experienced, all that shit in one ball. I bring that in here, and I give that shit to y'all. And... If whoever got Twitch can always come into this shit and we can host one day together and really talk about this shit. Two, if you really if you really down to come together on some shit like that, we both can do that shit. But I don't bring that shit in here, the negative shit. I bring the real shit, but I'm not going to bring no negative energy we don't need and I'm not going to bring no positive energy that we don't need. We keep this shit balanced. We're going to keep this boat Non rocking because we we on the do the do watch, okay? <laughs> Y'all don't even know what that is. I ain't even gonna tell you what it is. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put it in the chat. You know? The do watch, the <laughs> Y'all know I'll be dropping little gems, man. <laughs> Somebody tried to tell me that uh, I was ruled by pre uh, the the hidden one. Which is why I end up leaving Kemet, the the uh, Kemet through the Sea of the Reeds. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I need to look. If you know, if you know for real, and you and you did the research and you got this information, I need to know why. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> like we all know, it wasn't the Dead Sea. It was the fucking Sea of the Reeds, bro. And that shit was way shallow. And we already know that shit. 
but I was on the duot. I came, we came down on the duot in the Atet. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that's all we talking about on that. Y'all like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? Listen, y'all, I said I was gonna, uh, I was gonna get off of here if it started raining real bad. It hasn't started raining yet, but it is thundering like a motherfucker, though. I wasn't gonna stream today, but I just wanted to get this information out. You know, I feel like, uh, deep within my soul, every time that I get far enough to where shit is pushing me to speak about it, I usually just, I just, I cave. I ain't gonna lie, I just cave for y'all's sake. <laughs> I cave for y'all's sake, man. <laughs> man. That shit hard, bro. I'm telling you. That shit hard. <laughs> but, on the real, everybody should be, uh, everybody should be happy. Today is real, real chill. We we are going through some great things right now energetically. And I'm just excited for everybody that pretty soon, like I said, we won't all be uh, learning. We'll all be knowing. But it's going to take me doing my job too so it can spark. Because y'all might come in for two seconds, three seconds, catch a little bit of what I'm saying, and then bounce out. And that's cool with me, you know what I'm saying? If you just passing through to get the word for a quick second, man, you got my energy. And I'm giving straight, pure, super pink energy. Bright pink neon energy. No matter what. Uh, I'm Lord Shoe X, and you watch another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. Uh, if you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. Uh, it's a lot of shit on there. And uh, hmm. my Instagram and my Facebook is Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. I don't want to say too much about what's going on. I'll give y'all a little update on the album real quick and then I'll probably slide, but. Uh, Shoe Pro is probably like 75% finished. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> but just know, I am actively working on this album pretty much every day. Okay? And if I might not be recording, but I'm writing songs or I'm making beats, okay? So I pretty much record every day well i record thursday through sunday but i am working on the album pretty much every day so if i'm not if i'm not uh working on it that would be some bullshit right because we want this album to be finished all of us i'm pretty sure i've been working on this album for damn near three years now going on three years like the first few songs i actually started writing right after I finished volume two, which is my second uh, body of work that I ever produced, which I'm gonna put it in the chat. It's called Depressing the Forum 666. I'm gonna put it in the chat, y'all, so y'all can listen to it. Um, the cover, actually, my, my best friend when I lived in Florida, his name was Joe. And I hate to be so heavy right now, y'all, but um, let's all just give Joe positive energy because he committed suicide because of a relationship. And when I was, when I had first started working on this album, I was actually in a relationship and it was going to shit. <laughs> really was a relationship. So, um, me and Joe's mom got really personal and close and she gave me some art that Joe had. Uh, he was a foster kid and he had got adopted by this lady. So Joe, uh, I remember actually at work, Joe used to spit this freestyle that I just thought it was a joke, but then his mom 
his uh, foster mom gave me some of his art from when he was uh, a kid. And y'all, the freestyle was on this shit. Like, I got a bunch of his art from when he's a kid. But I gave the art to my brother, and we made the album cover for Depressing the Form 666. It was actually the, the album cover for that. So, when you download this album, you actually get some more, uh, you get the back cover, which is some more of his art from when he was a child. Talking about uh, when he was in... Um, uh, what do they call that shit? Something services, social services or whatever. But yeah, y'all check out the album. It's dedicated to him and my ex, but I don't got no beef with people. I dedicated the album to her because if it wasn't for her and him, those were the people that inspired me to really write this album. So this is the product of all the things that happened from that point to I put it out in 2018. So Y'all check it out. Um, shit, what else? Uh, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming in, fucking with me on this stream today. Uh, this stream is, uh, I dedicate this stream to Rose Quartz. So if you got Rose Quartz today, Hold up. She said Citrin, Rose Quartz, and Tiger's Eye. I don't have any Tiger's Eye, but I got Citrin and Wars, Rose Quartz, which this is what is on my necklace, the Citrin right here. And I got Rose Quartz in my hand. So that's what this this stream is dedicated to. If you have those crystals, um, I recommend everybody. I'm not a professional crystal man or a doctor or anything. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. If you got any of these three crystals, I would recommend meditating with them today. And don't ask no questions. Honestly, just you can just meditate with them for like a little bit. And all they have to do is be in your vicinity. You don't have to hold these crystals. I'm pretty sure I said this before in like my last stream. You don't have to hold these crystals, okay? Just keep them in the area because they already alive. Their spirit is like, it's a spirit, okay? So, you know, just keep them in your area. Meditate with them. It's like having people around you. You know how uh, you get on YouTube, they got them like guided meditations. Let the Rose Court do a, a guided meditation with you. I call it the Rose Court's guided meditation. The Tiger's Eye guided meditation. The Citrin guided meditation. Okay? So, that's all I got to say today, y'all. Much love, everybody. Y'all know what I'm finna do. I'm probably gonna play the commercial one more time. For gang, 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 and then I'm out this bitch, man. But I'm out this bitch for now. Bye, y'all. I'm gonna miss y'all, okay? I miss y'all already. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom Where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed Can of brew from the fucking stove Goodbye See you later